she has a crush on a stranger. I literally go weak at the knees. That has not happened since I was in year six. But will he be the guy she's been dreaming about? I was hoping we'd see each other again. Home and away. Is your hair breaking up? Is your hair all partied out? Discover new Garnier Fructus, the first fortifying shampoo with active fruit concentrate. Garnier Fructus, it's proven. The strengthening vitamins and shine-enhancing fruit acids work deep inside, making your hair twice as strong and more resistant to breakage. New Garnier Fructus fortifying shampoo for hair that shines with all its strength. Looking forward to the party? Oh, yeah. Elton yeah. Pantu's at the party now. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Put your foot down, mate. We're dying of boredom back here. Yeah, hey, right. Hang on, Mickey. Keep your shirt All right, on. mate. <laughs> we'll get there. No, no, no. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's like a walk on the wild side. Yeah, right? Spy Kids, your mission is to get Spy Gadget Ralph from McDonald's. We set! Stage one, pick up a Happy Meal and secure the gadget inside. Stage two, collect two each week until you have all six. Stage three, join them together and you've got Ralph, the ultimate spy gadget. Hurry before Ralph disappears. Make it your mission to get to McDonald's. Here's your chance to sleep and save at the Hotel Grand Chancellor Perth. For just $99 per night, get bed and breakfast for two. Plus free membership to West Club, which will give you huge savings all over WA. Call the Hotel Grand Chancellor now to make your booking. They're calling the new 24. Tremendous. There's nothing more entertaining. And you'd better believe it. The new 24. Premiering Monday, 8.30. Why are you in this, this thing? Up next, the leaked memo about our involvement in Iraq. NASA admits it might have been wrong. Cyclone Benny nears Queensland and the Scud is back. Susie claims she was sexually harassed. I never did anything to you, and you know it. If your vehicle's taken a beating and you need recycled parts, go no further than Tony's Auto Wreckers. With over four acres of all late model vehicles, including four-wheel drives, you're guaranteed to find the parts you need. And everything you purchase is backed by Tony's conditional three-month warranty. So, who needs new when used parts will do? Wherever, whenever. Tony's Auto Wreckers will get it for you. Tony's Auto Wreckers. They have got what you want. Stylish European finishes, an affordable price tag, and an address that's all about lifestyle. Make Quattro the hottest apartments in Perth. Located at the East Perth end of the city, Quattro has on the doorstep shopping, as well as top residence facilities, two bedroom designer apartments, and multi level penthouses. Investors take advantage of the Quattro four pack, exceptional tax benefits and returns, plus special low interest rates. Visit the Quattro sales suite at 251 to 257 Hay Street, East Perth, or call City Life on 6210 0088. Right now, you'll save on 2002 plate new generation Corolla. Power steering, airbag, central locking, CD player, and now free five year extended warranty. Yours from just 19990 Come on, see your dealer today. This is Pat Rafter making an ordinary call from a payphone. Just watch what happens if we were to turn it into a 1 800 reverse call. Keep the change and save the hassle with 1800 Reverse. 1800 re 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 Reverse. Change you've been looking for. There's Bottles Galore and just Spotlight Store. Stop taking.
Bookmaking sale, final days. 20% off brand new matchstick blinds in natural and golden oak. Kids roadmap rugs now at crazy $24.95. Final days, rush into spotlight now. On a hidden island, they found all they ever wanted. Here, there's only one thing to worry about. We have to live now! Leonardo DiCaprio running straight into a 2003 premiere. <laughs> the Beach. <laughs> That was our final alley. Join us next Tuesday when the Saints from Ward 17 celebrate wedded bliss. Ben and Bron finally get hitched in the exciting series return of All Saints next week. Seven Late News is next, then Golden West News. You stink. Tonight, the government in damage control over a leaked memo revealing our role in the Gulf. Queensland on alert as Cyclone Benny lurks off the coast. And a hotel room party lands Wayne Carey back in hot water. With Anne Forward, this is 7 News. Good evening. A leaked document about Australia's troops in the Gulf has embarrassed the federal government. The memo claims our forces will be caught in the region if war breaks out, but the government says it's not true. Standing before Parliament, the Prime Minister once again promised he had not committed Australian troops to any war with Iraq. The government will not make a final decision to commit to military conflict unless and until it is satisfied that all achievable options for a peaceful resolution have been explored. But once again, he didn't convince the opposition. You say that no such commitment has been made. Well, I don't believe you, Prime Minister, and the Australian people do not believe you. The heat was turned up on the government with the release of a leaked document in which Foreign Minister Alexander Downer told a New Zealand diplomat privately Australia was not in a position, if the UN process broke down, to withdraw our ships and other presence in the Gulf. The opposition seized on the document. That this is evidence that the troops are committed, they can't get out of it. Mr Downer was quick to reply. I am pretty outraged at a grotesque misrepresentation of a conversation I had with the New Zealand High Commissioner on the 24th of October. Mr Downer says he was referring to our naval ships in the Gulf, part of a multinational interception force, enforcing United Nations sanctions against Iraq for the past decade. Not only was it not a reference to the pre-deployments, but it couldn't have been because it was two and a half months before that decision was even made. Mr Downer says he contacted the New Zealand High Commissioner after the documents became public and she has the same recollection of events as he does. Inside Parliament, the debate on Australia's involvement in Iraq continued into the night, while outside the House on the Hill, anti-war sentiment grows. In Canberra, Joanna Ball, 7 News. And there is a clearer picture tonight about the shape of Iraq after Saddam Hussein. The British Army has reportedly been told to prepare its troops to occupy the country if the dictator is removed from power. For US troops training in the Kuwaiti desert, time is their enemy. Today, a blinding sandstorm forced exercises to be cancelled and the weather will only worsen in coming months. As the clock ticks for Saddam Hussein, UN weapons inspectors found more evidence. A ceramic mould of a missile and a damaged warhead. Baghdad claims they're just leftovers. If he doesn't get rid of his weapons of mass destruction, then the United States will lead a coalition to disarm him. Britain, too, is running out of patience. Show weakness now, and no one will ever believe us when we try to show strength in the future. 
But everything is on hold as the world awaits Colin Powell's appearance before the UN Security Council on Thursday. The Secretary of State maintains his evidence is straightforward and compelling and will convince concerned allies. But he's also admitted America still has no smoking gun. I'd be very surprised that the Americans would be able to convince the Security Council members of their point of view. I think they are failing and they will continue to fail, even Colin Powell. Mr Powell's evidence is believed to include electronic intercepts showing Iraqi deception on weapons, satellite photos, including trucks which the US says are mobile biological labs, and proof of Iraq's attempts to buy illegal weapon components. Saddam Hussein met with his generals today and again urged his volunteers to be ready to fight. The one last chance for diplomacy comes this weekend, when the chief UN weapons inspectors will again appeal to Iraq to cooperate. I cannot continue to ask for time, neither Hans Blix and I, without, without seeing you know, some tangible progress. In the United States, Mitchell Catlin, 7 News. South Australian police have made some ground in the search for six detainees who escaped from the Woomera Detention Centre. Our reporter Jessica Adamson's on the line. And Jessica, how did police make this breakthrough? Yes, Anne. Well, police went to a house in the township of Burrow about uh, two and a half hours' drive uh, north of Adelaide just after six tonight. They saw a car there that matched the description of one of the, the cars seen leaving the Woomera Detention Centre almost 48 hours ago. Soon afterwards, the car took off and they noticed uh, five people covered in blankets in the back. Uh, there was a short chase and they ended up at a spot uh, where I am now, about 15 kilometres east of Burra. At that point, five of the detainees uh, jumped over a fence and ran off in different directions. They arrested the driver, a 24-year-old man from Ormiston in Queensland. He's tonight been charged with harbouring and will face court tomorrow. So now there are four detainees still on the run. Um, one more has just been brought here to headquarters in the last few minutes. He's likely to be taken to Port Fury tonight and also charged. So we've got two at the moment, four left. Four still on the run tonight. Police are confident that they are still in the cordon area. They've had a police helicopter up, star group officers, and they're confident that the, the remaining four will be found sometime tonight. All right, Jessica Adamson, thank you so much in northern South Australia. Thanks. Thanks, Anne. NASA has admitted the Space Shuttle Columbia may have been fatally damaged on takeoff. The shuttle's nose cone and foot pedals have now been recovered, which will help investigators piece together what happened. Could Columbia have been saved? NASA under pressure for answers as investigators zeroed in on the damage caused during liftoff. That's certainly a leading candidate right now is the debris. Video shows the foam falling from the fuel tank, then hitting the underside of the left wing. A leaked NASA memo warned of the possible damage to Columbia's protective tiles, yet the safety team discounted it. And made a determination this was not a safety of flight issue. NASA could have called in military satellites to inspect the tiles, but decided not to. Even though you might have localized structural damage, you would not have damage sufficient to cause a catastrophic event. That analysis now under review. NASA admitting it could be wrong. Australian astronomer Anthony Beasley saw Columbia breaking up over California. I think that uh, with the early flickering and the small pieces that seem to be coming off um, the shuttle, I, it, uh, perhaps at that point it could have been tiles. His report now key evidence, together with data showing rising temperatures on Columbia's left wing, still unexplained. There's some other event, there's some other missing link that we don't have yet that um, is contributing to this temperature increase. More than 2,000 pieces of debris have now been found, including the shuttle's nose cone. Teams are dragging reservoirs for wreckage. The search could take months. NASA's chief was summoned to the White House to brief the president. America's journey into space will go on. A determination echoed by the astronauts' families. Although we grieve deeply as do the families of Apollo 1 and Challenger before us, the bold exploration of space must go on. Early tomorrow, President Bush will lead a memorial service here at the Johnson Space Center for the seven astronauts who died just 16 minutes from home. In Houston, Mike Amore, 7U.
Sabotage hasn't been ruled out as a possible cause of Melbourne's runaway train crash which injured 15 people. Inquiries are focusing on why safety systems didn't stop the train after it rolled away without a driver. This was the point of impact. The front carriage of the runaway, a crumpled mess after smashing into a stationary locomotive. The empty three-car suburban travelled 15 kilometres from Broadmeadows to Spencer Street Station. There were 20 passengers on the other train. Its driver jumped free with moments to spare. All of a sudden I heard a guy come running down saying, watch out, next to a bang. Just blacked out, everything was black and our things were thrown everywhere and we were on the floor. Four people were taken to hospital, a fracture, the most serious problem. We got away with it fairly lightly in view of the, um, the vehicles, the size of the vehicles involved. Witnesses say the runaway's driver gave chase on foot. He came back and I asked him, what's happened to the train? He goes, I don't know. On its downhill run, the train reached 100 kilometres an hour, travelled through 12 stations and almost caught up to another passenger service. Controllers tried shunting it to an empty platform. It didn't work. It's not clear just whether the, the, the train having so much momentum was capable of actually being diverted by points. Three separate investigations are underway. They'll consider sabotage, human error and mechanical failure. Phil Black, 7 News. The central Queensland coast is on cyclone lookout tonight. The Weather Bureau has downgraded its alert on cyclone Benny to watch. But with the storm drifting slowly north off the Mackay coast, residents are warned to stay vigilant. The Mackay region lies in the path, though for most of today you'd hardly know it. Benny first appeared on January 25. It spent 10 days touring the Coral Sea and weakened into a low, but this morning as it neared Queensland, it re-intensified. It's only a Category 1 cyclone at this stage, which means uh, wind gusts uh, can be expected up to about 100 kilometres an hour. Uh, near the centre. Mackay is preparing. Benny is a weak cyclone. Forecasters expect it will move into inland Queensland and could even break the drought once it becomes a rain depression. Southeast Queensland has been feeling the effects of the system for several days. It continues to deliver good rain, but only patchy falls inland. Not so on the Sunshine Coast. South of Brisbane, the town of Canungra is celebrating. It ran out of water three weeks ago when the creek ran dry, forcing supplies to be trucked in. The creek's running, the creek's running, and everybody's so excited. Finally, their prayers are being answered. Water deliveries to the town have been suspended. So far, they estimate they have three weeks' supply. Peter Doherty, 7 News. The Adelaide Football Club has denied claims that their star recruit Wayne Carey was photographed in a compromising sexual position at a wild hotel party. The Crows have admitted Carey was at a party, but they say he's a victim of an alleged extortion attempt. Carey joined his teammates in a special camp at Mount Gambier a short time ago, remaining tight-lipped about this latest controversy. For weeks, the Crows have strongly denied claims Carey was involved in a drinking binge at an Adelaide hotel and caused damage to the room. But now a woman who is allegedly in Kerry's company has gone public with more damaging allegations. I went in there, by this time he was like naked on the bed when Kerry was, except for a blue t-shirt that he was wearing. And when you say it's true, what's true? Um, well, it's all the rumours that he trashed the room and stuff. He was not involved in any damage he was not involved in any payoff. He was not in a spa. He was fully clad. And the club is supporting Wayne 100%. The Crows say Kerry is the victim, calling for extortion charges to be laid after a man allegedly asked the club for what they say was a considerable amount of money in return for the film and his silence on the matter. What you see is guilt by association. And as reasonable thinking people, I think you understand that that's pretty bloody unfair. It's the latest drama to hit Carey as he tries to rebuild his marriage and his AFL career. The Crows conceding a film allegedly taken of the late night party was thrown away. But Carey strenuously denies it showed him in a compromising position. Jim Wilson, 7 News. When we come back, business news and Patrick Corp sticks by Virgin Blue. Also, the Queensland opposition, TERF's its leader. And
and it's Fashion Week, Brazilian style. On today, tonight, truth or lies? None of Come it's on. true. None of it's true. The Perth lie detector catching out lies. Very, very good investigative tool. The verdict on Michael Jackson. So we tell if he's lying? Today, tonight with Monica Koss. Stylish European finishes, an affordable price tag, and an address that's all about lifestyle. Make Quattro the hottest apartments in Perth. Located at the East Perth end of the city, Quattro has on-the-door step shopping, as well as top residence facilities, two-bedroom designer apartments, and multi-level penthouses. Investors take advantage of the Quattro 4-pack, exceptional tax benefits and returns, plus special low interest rates. Visit the Quattro sales suite at 251 to 257 Hay Street, East Perth, or call City Life on 6210 0088. Astra 2002 Stock Clearance. Save with factory bonuses on selected 2002 Astra models. While stocks last at your country Holden retailer. This is it! All the gear, all the year. Hells A's, down south, surf shop. It's the Auction Squad team with more ways to help make you money. Property that is going to get the big bucks at auction. Joanna Griggs with great advice and amazing results. Oh my God. Auction Squad, Friday. Now to business news where retail sales slumped in the month of December. Oriel Morrison has the details from the Finance Centre. Retail sales fell 0.9% in December, the biggest monthly fall since the introduction of the GST two and a half years ago. The result is well below the 0.2% decline the market was expecting, but follows strong sales in November and anecdotal evidence retailers had a good January. Analysts say the fall is yet further evidence of an economy which is easing. Patrick Corp says it plans to keep its 50% stake of discount airline Virgin Blue. At today's annual meeting, the Managing Director Chris Corrigan said the proposed float of Virgin Blue was of no interest to them, but the group would honour its commitment and sell a 5% stake if necessary. In March last year, the Transport and Logistics Group bought half of Virgin Blue for $260 million, a stake which may now be worth as much as $850 million. Without providing the numbers, Patrick Corp says it had a good first quarter. The first quarter is, uh, is ahead of our expectations, but we're you know, also clearly cautious about the, the economic environment on a global basis. Briefly in other business news, economists predict the Reserve Bank will leave interest rates on hold following today's board meeting. Any decision will be announced tomorrow morning. Westfield Trust reported an 8% increase in 2002 full-year net profits to $475 million. And AMP share price surged more than 3% today before closing one cent higher. The move follows news UK regulators lowered the amount of capital insurers are required to hold against potential claims. Our share market finished higher. The All Lords rose 5 points, the ASX 200 up 4. BHP Billiton climbed more than 3%. The Australian dollar buys 58.6 US cents, 70 Japanese yen and 35 British pence. Gold is trading at six-year highs of 375 US dollars an ounce. Oil's at 32 US a barrel. And overseas, Asian markets are mixed. That's all from the Finance Centre. Good night. Thank you, Oriel. A battle is brewing between the Commonwealth and the states over private health insurance. The Labor states have released a report by Professor John Diebel, the architect of Medicare. He says the 30% rebate for health insurance premiums is inefficient and misdirected, but the Howard government disagrees. We made a commitment to maintain the rebate. We've seen an increase in the number of people in private hospitals, a 12% increase in people being treated in private hospitals. Senator Patterson has accused the states of trying to score political points in the lead-up to the New South Wales state election. 
Mike Horan has been dumped as the Queensland opposition leader. He put his job on the line at a special meeting today after the Nationals' popularity slumped. Lawrence Springborg replaces Mr Horan and admits toppling Premier Peter Beattie will be a tough job. It's going to be, um, for us, basically a Lazarus-type effort to beat Peter Beattie next time. The Nationals' deputy leader, Vaughan Johnson, was replaced by Jeff Sweeney. Now, a story from Perth about the grandfather who's turned the tables on a young thug after being knifed in a road rage attack. The 64-year-old victim turned out to be a former Irish national boxing champion who fought back. The Duncraig grandfather says he was slashed across the face with a knife by a speeding motorist who'd just run his car off Marmion Avenue. But the young road rager had chosen the wrong victim. His hand and I just went, you know, I just went, bang, bang. And then he went for me again with the knife. And as he went for me again, I just moved and blocked the knife. And I went, I heard something, I didn't even look. I just hit him again. And then he went, oh, no, don't hit me, don't hit me. John, who doesn't want his surname revealed, is a former Irish and Dublin boxing champion. And although he hasn't been in a ring for 37 years, he says it's like riding a bike you never forget. I think that helped me with my uh, reflexes. I keep myself pretty fit in the gym and um, I don't drink, I don't smoke, but I like my fitness. But the ordeal for John and his wife didn't end on Marmion Avenue. The young man followed their car to Hepburn Avenue and attacked again as they waited at red lights. Yeah, he went to me like that and he tried to open the door. The knife, this knife was in his hand. And because he couldn't open the door, I just looked out and, he, and because he couldn't open the door, he just went bang, bang at the window. The couple then drove straight to the Warwick Police Station. The 20-year-old has been charged over another road rage incident in which a woman was assaulted in an Atterdale car park in May last year. He'll face court on Friday. Neil Poe, 7 News. The legendary music producer Phil Spector has been charged with murder after a woman was shot dead at his Los Angeles home. Mr. Philip Spector from Meltdown Records has been arrested and booked for murder. The 62-year-old revolutionised pop music in the 1960s, producing hits for a string of groups, including The Beatles and The Righteous Brothers. Oh, Spectre is free on $2 million bail. And Brazil's Fashion Week has come to an end. The hometown pin-up girl Giselle Bunchen starred on the catwalk. She donated her $150,000 appearance fee to feed the underprivileged. The new autumn winter line harked back to the 60s with some sleek designs. Denim and check patterns were also popular, as was the perennial favourite black, which is the new black for next season's evening wear. We'll be checking the sports news when Seven's Late News continues in just a moment. Thursday at 8 is the brand new time for Scrubs. It's just happened here. TV's hottest comedy. You can kiss my man-sized Will you hold me after? <laughs> With special guest Kelly Williams. Scrubs, now Thursday at 8. Bustleton. Minimum, comfortably cool. Maximum, absolutely perfect. Bustleton. Simply irresistible. Planet Graphics, award-winning design solutions for the Southwest. We can provide you with a complete design package. Quality artwork, web design, logos and screen printing that will get your business noticed. Planet Graphics, West Street, Bustleton. Escape to Paradise in Bustleton, the Paradise Motor Inn. Newly revamped, affordable accommodation with family, twin, double and triple units. Al fresco area, new laundry, dining room and pool. Only minutes from the centre of Bustleton, the Paradise Motor Inn. When choosing your next new or used car, head straight to Bustleton Mazda. David and the friendly team guarantee to give you their best new Mazda deal, their best trade-in price and their best quality service. Bustleton Mazda, servicing the Southwest. 20 Bustle Highway, Bustleton. Bustleton. Simply irresistible. Now to news in sport, and he's back. Mark Philippoussis will return to Australia's Davis Cup team for the first time in three years this Friday. The Scud and Leighton Hewitt will head our challenge against Great Britain on the unfamiliar surface of clay. It's a sight Australian tennis fans have been waiting for. Mark Philippoussis' Davis Cup exile is over. As a team, we come together well. You know, there's nothing negative about the team between us. Everything's positive, and we're just looking forward to going out there and just doing what we have to do to win. 
The Scud hasn't played since guiding Australia to victory three years ago. And despite taking on a second string Great Britain team, there's no room for complacency. This is a two horse race and we've just got to get ourselves ready. I know it's a boring old cliche, but that's what we're doing. And, and um, we're treating the opposition like they're at full strength. Philip Hussas joined Leighton Hewitt, Todd Woodbridge and Wayne Arthurs in a solid three hour session on the newly laid clay court at Homebush Bay. The surf has given the thumbs up. I love the court. I mean, um, I'm looking forward to it and I think the atmosphere is going to be great. The team tested a number of doubles combinations with all four players in contention. Todd Woodbridge more than confident about his chances. I like to think that I'm working for the other guy to take the other side of the court with me. <laughs> that's my attitude coming in and if yeah, it changes you... that's different but that's my attitude whether it's his I'm not sure or no, not. Only time will tell. Christian Jansen, 7 News. In golf, Heineken Cup runner-up Peter Lonard says he's ready for this weekend's ANZ Championship. Lonard is in sizzling form. Only a daring approach to the 18th last week cost him a third win this summer. But it won't change the way he attacks the game. Yeah, I had about 10 hours to reflect on that. I'm not that upset with the fact that I actually tried to win and, uh, you know, fell a bit short. It was only a couple of yards. Maybe next year, next time I'll hit a bit harder. <laughs> All right, well, Lonard had the chance to play for $10 million at Pebble Beach in California this weekend, but he chose to support the Sydney event instead. Good stuff. Now to the weather. Cloud is bringing some rain over Queensland and New South Wales. The cloud band linked to a front in the bight is slipping to the southeast. Tropical cyclone Benny, as we mentioned earlier, has been placed on cyclone watch as it hovers over the Queensland coast. It's moving slowly north, though. Around the country, well, there is a bit of rain about in Cairns. Probably as a result, 33. Brisbane as well with 24 degrees. Sydney, cloudy, 26 tomorrow. A top of 31, all clear in Canberra. Showers as well in Hobart and Melbourne, although 33 degrees. 29 in Adelaide, 34 in Perth. And that is Seven's Late News for now. But for the latest news in the morning, watch us sunrise from 6am. I'm Anne Ford. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. This garden was a lady's dream come true. But if we go back to the beginning, you'll be surprised what they started with and just how they did it. Ground Force Wednesday. Then... And they're bidding. It's a day at the auctions and the stakes are high. It's got everything that I want. How much is this little filly going to get when it hits the finish line? Bidding. And why is the auctioneer dressed as a jockey? <laughs> Join Michael Caton for Hot Auctions Wednesday at 8. And coming soon, the ultimate wedding surprise. An all-new Ground Force soon. Meet a construction worker worth $19,000 and the 20 women who think he's worth $50 million. Joe Millionaire begins Thursday. In 2003, a revolutionary new drama is coming. You've never experienced any show like it. Boom Town. Golden West News with Natalie Forrest. Tonight, busted. Education staff caught speeding outside a local school. Why country people pay more to see the doctor. And what could be a world first? A high-tech scan to find out why whales die on our beaches. Hello, thanks for joining us. Also in Golden West News, new bore water restrictions for local councils and charges likely over a fatal hit and run in our north. First, country schools say they won't follow the lead of a Perth high school which called students out of class to explain why their fees hadn't been paid. Parents have called for a change to school fees to solve the problem once and for all. While school fees aren't compulsory for years 8, 9 and 10 at government schools, parents of year 11 and 12 students have to pay. The money pays for equipment students use, like timber for manual arts classes and chemicals for science. Yesterday at a Perth high school, the principal called upper school students out of class to talk about why their fees hadn't been paid. Parent groups say it's just not right. It's not a situation that children have control over and it's not something that they should be involved in as minor basically being bullied into um, putting pressure onto their parents. Country schools say while collecting fees can be a headache, it should stay between the school and parents. Schools go to great pains to avoid involving 
the children in those sorts of negotiations and understandings and arrangements they make over school charges. This year the state government will pay $100 towards each student's fees. Parents say it doesn't go far enough. In fact, I would like to see Mr Carpenter pay the lot. $100 is just about half. Pay the extra $135 and we wouldn't have any controversy. The Education Department says parents should talk to their school if there's a problem paying, but the most important thing is students stay in school. In order to retain kids at school, one of the issues for parents has in the past been the, the cost of, of 11 and 12 course. Bianca Haley, Golden West News. The rising cost of medical care is hitting hardest in the bush. Latest figures show country people are paying more because most country doctors won't bulk bill. And the doctors warn it's going to get worse. Gone are the days when all you needed at the doctor's surgery was your Medicare card. Now at more and more practices, it's cash or credit, please. And latest figures show it's worse in the country. Country women more than twice as likely as city women to have to pay an extra gap over the prescribed Medicare rebate. That might be a barrier to their treatment. They might consider cost before they consider care. Doctors say it's too expensive to practice in the bush and the $25.05 rebate from Medicare just isn't enough and should be increased. They go nowhere near to making up the costs of running a professional practice. The AMA scheduled fees between $40 and $50 for a standard consultation. The survey found only 35% of country doctors bulk bill compared to 70% in the city. Unless they want us to do supermarket medicine, shoving, shoving patients through um, and not doing good medicine, then um, we can't get a viable practice. The Rural Doctors Association says country GPs should receive a bigger rebate to cover their costs. Then more country doctors would bulk bill. But the federal government doesn't want to pay more. It says the best way to encourage bulk billing is competition and has spent more than $50 million to entice more doctors to the bush. The fact is that there hasn't been a great increase in general practitioners, particularly moving to remote and rural areas. Brad Hodson, Golden West News. Anger in our state south, two school staff caught speeding in a local school zone as kids were starting their new education year. And not just speeding a little, one teacher was caught doing more than twice the 40k speed limit. The first morning of a new school year and two education department employees, one of them a local teacher, caught recklessly speeding in a 40 km hour school zone. One driver was clocked at 87 km an hour, more than twice the speed limit. The other driver was booked doing 74 in the 40 zone. Police are asking what they have to do to get the message across to drivers, speed kills. It's sad to see, I mean there was a lot of publicity, a lot of uh, advertising leading up to it, but it didn't work for everybody. The teacher admits she should have known better. She's been hit with a $350 fine and six demerit points. The other driver copped a $250 fine and four points. I mean, you've got a person who's working for a week now, for nothing effectively, for making a mistake. But uh, there it is. You, you do the crime, you pay the time. Locals are appalled children's lives could be put at risk by people who should know better. They should know better. I think the uh, people around the school zone should slow down. Les Folds, Golden West News. If you felt the earth move in Karatha this afternoon, it wasn't your imagination. An earthquake measuring four on the Richter scale happened just before four o'clock this afternoon. Locals felt the tremor hundreds of kilometres away. Many report a boom and vibrations. The shake triggered alarms at Woodside's gas processing plant. There have been no reports of damage. In what's believed to be a world first, local scientists have used the latest in high-tech medical imaging equipment to try to find out what's killing whales along our coast. They're testing the brain of one of the whales which beached near Busselton. The beaching of these greys beaked whales in Busselton a few weeks ago attracted international attention. Three females died, all two months pregnant. In a desperate hunt for clues, CALM has turned to technology usually reserved for humans. So far most of the pathology tests have showed up no real abnormalities at all so we feel the next step is to do this MRI type scan. Magnetic resonance imaging takes a perfect image of soft tissue by using a large powerful magnet. The MRI is usually used to detect things such as cancer and degenerative bone diseases in people but it'll be the first time a whale has gone through the scanner in WA. A private radiology clinic in Bunbury volunteered their expertise and use of their $1.6 million machine for the groundbreaking tests. 
be able to now have a baseline data set of anatomical images on whales, which to the best of our knowledge, no one in the world will have. The nuclear-powered submarine USS Honolulu docked at Garden Island off Rockingham two days after the whales beached themselves. The tests will show if any bleeding or hemorrhage of the whale's brain could have been caused by the submarine's sonar. I think it's certainly an avenue we need to explore. Um, whether we'll get enough data out of this operation today to determine that or not is, will have to be seen. Technicians were thrilled with the images from today's procedure. They're beyond our expectation. They are truly beyond. They are so clear. Um, it's amazing. It's amazingly clear. Final test results should be in in a couple of days. Natalie Bongiolo, Golden West News. New restrictions on country bore water. That's a hit. And anger at a multi-million dollar development locals say is a death trap. Tonight, it's one of their own who's the victim. Who's the victim? Who's the victim? Who's the victim? Who's the killer? A movie-length episode of TV's best drama, The Practice, tonight. The provision of remote commercial television services to people in isolated areas is supported by the Commonwealth through the Broadcasting Online and Information Services Program of the Department of Communications, Information, Technology and the Arts. I only smoke when I go out clubbing, really. Only when I'm having a drink. I only smoke on weekends, you know. Nah, I just bum them off my mates. At Applebee's Jewelers, everything old can be new again. A treasured ring can be beautifully restored or very cleverly remodeled thanks to Applebee's skilled master craftsmen. Applebee's Centerpoint Jewelers, much more than just a jewelry store. You choose, you pay, you take it home to has dawned. Condor Furniture Warehouse. Why wait for new furniture? At Condor Furniture Warehouse, you choose, you pay, you take it home today. At Condor, you don't pay retail. Everything's at wholesale prices. So what are you waiting for? You choose, you pay, you take it home today. What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Condor Furniture Warehouse. Want to improve your property's productivity and value without having to work up a sweat or outlay hard-earned cash? and have the comfort of a secure investment, Southwest Share Farms are seeking land to use for share farming to establish blue gum tree crops. They manage the crop, you keep full ownership of the land and choose your level of involvement. A successful plantation provides a secure annual income for around 20 years. Now that's comfort. Southwest Share Farms, your partners for your future. Major crash investigators have arrived in Broome following the hit and run death of a 31 year old Kimberley man. Local police have impounded the four wheel drive which struck the man late last Saturday night on the Great Northern Highway 100 kilometres south of Broome. The driver is known to be in the Broome area and it's believed police may soon make an arrest. The state government will crack down on local councils which use bore water sprinklers to keep our parks and gardens green. By next summer, councils will face the same restrictions as homeowners. Bore water sprinklers are banned between 9am and 6pm for households across the state. Now one of the state's biggest users of bore water local councils will face the same restrictions as you and I. Where you have some local governments that are using their water during the daytime, it's sending a very bad message out into the community when other people are abiding by the restrictions that are in place. The crackdown's part of a campaign to save our groundwater reserves. Reduce water level, then the vegetation will get starved of water and wetlands and trees can die. And that's the main thing. It can also increase salinity. Many shires already have voluntary daytime restrictions. The city of Bunbury has no problem at all with uh, new restrictions. In fact, uh, we've been working with those guidelines and restrictions for at least 12 months now. And there are penalties for anyone caught using a bore sprinkler during restricted hours. 
first, you'll receive a warning in your letterbox. If caught a second time, you could cop a $100 fine. As for councils, it's not yet been decided how much they'll be fined for not obeying the restrictions. If you see boar sprinklers running when they shouldn't be, you can report it on the Waters and Rivers Commission hotline 62508001. The restriction will apply to local councils from July. Natalie Bonjolo, Golden West News. Angry southwest residents have hit out over a multi-million dollar beach development locals say is a death trap. Man-made groins and sand dredging at Bustleton's Port Geograph have been slammed. Locals fear it's only a matter of time before someone is killed. We want our beach back. I think it was. It was a full house at Bustleton Shire Council today, wall-to-wall -to -wall angry residents fighting for their beach. This once pristine beach fronted Bustleton's multi-million dollar port geograph canal development is now under piles of seaweed. Residents say dredging up to 12 hours a day, six days a week, needs to stop. There's been half a dozen people sank up to the armpits in, in sludge and filth down there. Which department is actually responsible if someone loses a child down there? <laughs> For Geograph resident Wynne Gallagher, a morning walk on the beach turned into the most frightening experience of her life. All of a sudden, the sun gave way and I just disappeared. And I was up to my shoulders. And I thought I wasn't going to get out. The weed has piled up to such a degree and rotted so much underneath that one step in the wrong spot is like stepping into quicksand. This noise, along with the smell of the rotting weed, has even caused some residents to complain of nausea and headaches. The living conditions are becoming absolutely intolerable with the constant noise, 12, 11 and 12 hours a day. The stench is just no longer acceptable to the ratepayers and the residents in this area. Council says the dredging could continue for years and while there's no immediate solution, Council will work with Port Geograph developers to get the beach back to its former condition. Kirsty Yosen, Golden West News. Future. Kalgoorlie's infamous starting stalls on Hay Street are the focus of a play opening soon in the Goldfield City. The play is described as a work of accurate historical substance. Through the highs and lows of the mining industry, there's always been brothels in Kalgoorlie. <laughs> Now the Goldfield starting stalls will be on show in a play. The performance looks at the conditions prostitutes worked under, especially in the 90s, under a strict containment policy. How many times do you drive down Hay Street and you have a look and you slow down and you try to catch a glimpse of someone working in the stalls? Everyone has some fascination for prostitution about what goes on behind those doors. Kate Smith wrote the play and spent two years visiting and staying at one of the Hay Street brothels to research starting stalls. Cast members say it's not a show for the faint-hearted. The tales are about the girls the way they would be, so probably a little bit R-rated for some people, but that's um, exactly how it is and that's how the tale goes. Um, that's what life is like for those girls. Starting stalls will open at the Brookman Street Theatre in Kalgoorlie on Thursday night. It's been a real eye-opener to us all I think but we've learned a lot through it it's it's history come along have a look and see what the real world is all about Kelly Vitter and Golden West News sports next the Eagles and the Dockers head bush for pre-season training also the Goldfields golden girl named world champion and the young West Aussie who's bowled over the competition Susie claims she was sexually harassed. I never did anything to you, and you know it. Had the local WFI rep drop by yesterday. Yeah. He's due out here later on today. So, you got the place insured with WFI? Uh-huh. They've been looking after the place for over 80 years. Got the shed covered? Yep. And everything in it. House too. All with WFI. All with WFI. That's handy.
on February 15th, you'll experience one of the greatest music events ever seen. The Moonlight Music and Wine Festival. Bob Dylan, Ray Charles, Wilson Pickett with Beth Orton, John Mayer, Billy Thorne, The Cruel Sea, Tony Joe White, Dave Hall. One day, one place, with wine tasting, lifestyle exhibits and sideshow attractions. The Moonlight Music and Wine Festival, Saturday, February 15th, the Claremont Showgrounds. Proudly sponsored by Mix 94.5, Channel 7 and the West Australian. Tickets on sale now from Box or moonlightfestival.com.au. This could be any group of friends enjoying life, not missing a thing. And you couldn't tell if any one of them had a hearing problem. At Southwest Audiology, you're guaranteed improved communication with individually tailored solutions to your hearing difficulties. Make an appointment to see one of their university qualified audiologists in Bunbury, Bustleton, or Margaret River. Southwest Audiology, helping the Southwest here. To create a classic drama, you need mystery. Now, this the drama. Avoid the drama with RAC Roadside Assistance. For every good in the universe... He said he's a mirror for me. There is an evil. I must deactivate you. Why? Because you are dangerous. And the only way to conquer it... Resistance is futile. ...is to face it. I'm a mirror for you as well. Now this so fame. Now... A generation's final journey begins. Star Trek Nemesis. Commencing Thursday at the Grand Cinemas Bunbury. On a hidden island, they found all they ever wanted. Here, there's only one thing to worry about. We have to live now! Leonardo DiCaprio running straight into a 2003 premiere. <laughs> the Beach. Australia's gold medal winning skier Elisa Kaplan has been crowned world champion. For two years, the top skier has stayed in touch with a local primary school in the gold fields. And despite her latest success, Elisa plans to keep up her links with the West. It's been an amazing rise to the top for Elisa Camplin. Elisa won gold at the Winter Olympics last year. She's now been crowned Freestyle Aerials World Champion. Through the highs and the lows, Elisa's had the support of Kalgoorlie Primary School. This year, the Grade 1 navigators will continue to keep in touch with Elisa via letters, emails and photos. She's been in contact with the school all through the holidays and uh, the students this year's year ones, the North Star navigators, have already been in contact uh, with her, e emailing her congratulations. While most of these students have never seen snow, Elisa's achievements aren't lost on them. Yeah! Great job, Elisa. I was pretty proud. Good work. Well done, Elisa. Congratulations. She's the champ of gaming. So touched by the support of her Goldfields fans, Elisa visited Kalgoorlie Primary School last year. The Navigators hope they'll also have the chance to meet the sports star. They're keen to ask Elisa a few questions. Um, I would say... You... Do you want to have tea with me? I'll ask her... Um, how did you do it? Um, did you get a trophy? I'll give her a big hug. Kelly Vitter and Golden West News. Just adorable. A Southwest 10 pin bowler who's well on her way to realising her dream of becoming a professional bowler. Naomi Kenyon has just made the state team. The 13 year old is the only WA country player chosen for the national championships. Ten-pin bowler Naomi Kenyon has been working on her style since she was four years old. She says she grew up at the Bunbury Bowling Centre. My mum and dad both worked here, so um, I just started rolling balls down the lane and then at four I went in my first league and won, so I just wanted to keep going from there. The 13-year-old has just made the state team for the first time. She's the only country player selected. When I was little, I always wanted to um, represent the state. But now I'm in state team, I just want to go as far as I can. The pinnacle of 10 pin bowling for Naomi is the professional women's bowling circuit. You get paid to bowl full time. You get to travel all around the world, bowl at different centres, meet lots of different new, pe new people. Naomi will travel to the Nationals in Melbourne in July. She says the secret to her success is simply practice. 
it's not really that um, hard. You just have to keep practicing and then you get perfect and then get to where I am. Bianca Haley, Golden West News. Two talented young South West footballers will have the opportunity of a lifetime to train with the West Coast Eagles in Albany tomorrow. 17-year-old Great Southern players Bo Wilkes and Sam Lehman have been chosen to train with the AFL squad while in Albany to conduct their inaugural training camp. And the Frio Dockers will be in Bunbury this week. They'll conduct a sports forum on Thursday night and Auskick event on Saturday. To a sport that's rapidly becoming popular all over WA, more and more West Aussies are turning to trailblazing. They're taking to the bush, walking and riding the 3,000 odd kilometres of trails across the state. Trail walking and mountain biking are fast becoming popular activities amongst West Australians. This week, a series of trail funding workshops around the southwest will help community groups seek funding for various projects. The workshop tonight is primarily targeted at organisations preparing an application through the Lotteries Commission funding. And it'll help them focus on uh, getting the best return out of their efforts for an application. $500,000 is available for trail projects around the state. One South West group hopes a grant will help complete a trail project in Boyanup. We're looking at getting about $10,000 from uh, the Trails West funding and um, we're hoping that the $10,000 will be able to help us build an interpretive signage um, along the walk trail as well as in a gazebo on the foreshore. Recreation trails not only provide facilities for some of the more popular outdoor activities, they also bring huge economic benefits to the local areas. They have to travel to the area, they stay on in the region after they've completed the trail um, walking or riding um, activity they have and that has an economic return. For more information visit the trail funding website at www.dsr.wa.gov.au. Alana Ponsonby, Golden West News. Shauna Willis has your statewide weather next. In seven news tonight, Wayne Carey in hot water again, caught with his pants down. For the first time in years, world's number one Leighton Hewitt and Mark Philippoussis reunite with a home ground advantage against the Palms. The Davis Cup, live Friday morning. Gregorian, Masters of Chant, Chapter 3. The spiritual and soothing sounds of the Gregorian chant return with new interpretation of the world's most popular and classic hits, featuring the songs of Elton John, Sting, Chris Isaac, Yazoo, Neil Diamond, and more. The Magic and Mystery of Gregorian, Masters of Chant, Chapter 3, out now. Across Australia, companies are finding new ways to create high quality products and services to take on the world and win. But as new markets open, some of our traditional industries face new threats and that puts Australian jobs at risk. But if we buy Australian made, we safeguard Australian jobs. We secure the future for our kids. To be certain it's Australian made, look for this logo. The only important thing these days is rhythm and melody. GWN's Fuel Watch. Tomorrow's best fuel prices across the state. Details on the Fuel Watch website or by phoning 1300 550 808.
Oh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday night's weather right across WA. And the monsoonal conditions continued for our north today, the highest maximum, and it was a very nice and warm 43 degrees at Balgai Hills, Windham Airport and at Warman. The highest minimum, and that was a hot one as well, 30 degrees at Windham Airport, Argyle Airport and at Kajabat. Now through southern districts today, an unsettled weather shifting well off to far eastern parts today. Otherwise, it was in fact quite a pleasant summer's day for most. The lowest minimum was 7 degrees at Jandicott Airport, Bridgetown and some other centres. And our lowest maximum was 21 degrees at Red Rocks Point and at Windy Harbour. Now straight to our satellite pictures, we've got a cloud band across eastern WA. Here it is lying across that trough, producing some isolated showers and the odd storm or two. Mostly clear and windy along the west coast. And that, of course, was due to a building ridge of high pressure. And we can see that if we take a look at the surface chart. This is the trough system here moving slowly east and heading to South Australia. The developing ridge south of the state we can see here. And also just a quick mention while we're there of tropical cyclone Benji. Here we can see there, which is drifting towards Mackay and driving gales and heavy rain onto the Queensland coast. Now tomorrow for WA, the high and a developing west coast trough, we'll see a fine weather and temperatures generally rising in the south. Apart from the chance of just some isolated showers in eastern parts of the southwest land division and adjacent goldfields. Seasonal thunderstorm activity is expected to continue up for our tropics. Now looking at Thursday and the ridge south of the state will strengthen and lead to fresh easterly winds right across the southwest division. Uh, some morning drizzle is possible along the western half of the south coast in onshore east southeast winds. All other parts will be fine with temperatures rising away from the south coast. On Friday and on Saturday that west coast trough will deepen further but you can see it's going to be fine. Temperatures will climb into the high 30s near the west coast and also across the north of the southwest land division and looking fine for the start of the weekend. Well now to our district forecast for tomorrow. Seasonal thunderstorm activity continuing for the northwest Kimberley and for the western Pilbara. It will be fine elsewhere and Thursday pretty similar conditions are expected. Just a few thundery showers lingering about the west Gascoigne otherwise it really will be fine right through the districts as it will be for the central west. Winds fresh to strong near the coast Thursday fine and tending hot. The mercury continuing to rise through southwestern parts of the state for tomorrow. Maybe the risk of a shower on the very far eastern parts. And for Thursday, fine and generally warmer, possible showers on the south coast. Some isolated showers about the extreme southwest goldfields clearing overnight for the Eucla coast. Other parts should be fine. And on Thursday, expect some fine conditions. Tomorrow's fire danger forecast now. And we're looking at a very high warning up there for the central west. A high warning elsewhere around the state. Northern waters now. And winds again tending seasonally mild. We can see for waters that's above northwest Cape. Below strengths freshening tonight, 18 to 25. But they will ease by afternoon. A look at southern waters. We do have a strong wind warning and that's for waters from Carnarvon down to Durian Bay but easing slightly tomorrow afternoon. Further south and winds will ease overnight though freshen again in the afternoon and that will be above Perth and then further east of Bremer Bay around Australia. And while fine for Sydney and Canberra, elsewhere in the east conditions are looking a little wet. For Perth, hotting up to a summer's day forecast of 34 degrees. Good night. Thanks, Shauna. And that's the latest from the Golden West News team. We'll be back with more local news tonight at 5.30. Good night.
you simply slide it over the wrist line. Look at that. Isn't it spectacular? Whether you wear yellow gold, rose gold, white gold, combine them all together. Get this classic piece and you know that it's going to sit really beautiful on any wrist line. Back with a timepiece on its own. Mix and match your jewellery around to have fun with it. Now it's a hollow oval golf bangle. So again, it's going to sit nice and close to the wrist rather than having that uh, really oval look. You've got that half round. So it sort of sits really nice and close to the wrist line. 63 millimetres in length. It's in that half round design, which is fantastic. Highly polished. So look at the glimmer and shimmer on that one. It's crafted in nine carat yellow gold. So of course you've got the fabulous warmth of that yellow gold gold and approximate weight in there 9.6 grams and this one was crafted right here in Australia. The reduction is quite substantial. Get onto the phones 0800 123 for our New Zealand customers, 13 for our customers here in Australia, 608 427. Don't miss out on your opportunity to grab one of the most classic pieces in our gold collection, $369 down to $199 in Oz, 208 in New Zealand, part payment available. Get to your phones for your Buyer's choice right now. Welcome back to TBSN, and a warm welcome to a lovely hour of jewellery, which is Diamondesque for Evening. Some beautiful, glamorous pieces, in fact. We've taken pieces from a few of our different aspects of evening glamour. Um, even some of the Hollywood glamour in the show as well, if you want to get really dressed up. Mm. Have you got really dressed up? I have. You have, haven't you? I'm dazzling. <laughs> All of the pieces are spectacular this evening. It's going to be a tough choice, it really is. So, you know, look carefully, but choose quickly. <laughs> How are you enjoying yourself being back? I love being back. Yes, I really do. Renewed vigour. <laughs> yes, I can see it. I can definitely see it. Let's have a little look ahead to what's coming up for you during the hour. Let's have a little look ahead. I'll give you the item numbers verbally as we go through. We can't apparently give you graphics, but that's okay. We've got a beautiful ring to begin mm. with. Now, this one is a six and a half carat whopper. It sure is. Look how large that one is. With baguettes accenting either side. Now the sizes K, M, N, O and P are the sizes for this one. Uh, oh sorry, R, S, T, T, U, V and W. Yeah, but W <laughs> look limited. Okay then. Now the item number for it, we can't pop it up on the screen right now, is 601. 429 601 429 it's 237 or 248 and it's on four part payments for you as well which is great news okay now another one coming up is that fantastic bracelet that you're wearing now a little bit like a tennis bracelet style mm, isn't it very much so with some 14 karat gold s bands mm. i suppose in between each stone it's an 18 centimeter length that one which is 68204 six Eight two zero four. Now in Aussie dollars, that's four fifty nine. In the, the New Zealand dollar, four hundred and eighty. It's on um, three part payments, and there's a purchase with purchase on that one of the jewellery cleaner. Is there indeed? So it I've so, lost my connection, so you might be able you? to fill me in. And so what does that mean then, Kelly? You get ten dollars off, darling. I've been told. <laughs> The jewellery cleaner is double six oh eight. All right. One more preview for you. In fact, an item that we were looking at in the Hollywood Glamour show where we gave away ten thousand dollars. So I missed out on all of these things. You did. So you're getting a look at them tonight. I sure am, and you can't look miss them. That. Look at this. Isn't that reminiscent of something? Near, is far, <gasps> wherever you are. It's Titanic, of course. Oh. It is very much so. What do they call that? The pendant. Uh, the heart of the ocean. Heart of the ocean. Heart of the sea, or something like well, that. This is called Heart of the Ocean. It is. Oh, is that what it's actually called? <laughs> okay. It's very similar. This is what this pendant <laughs> is called. The item number for this one. Do you have it there, Mark? Heart of the Ocean Eek. It's um, <laughs> the. Uh, are we looking at the pendant? Yes. Six zero seven eight four seven. It's sixty four dollars fifty. You're kidding. I'm not. No chain though. No, who I cares? You, I can't give you the chain. <laughs> for sixty four dollars. The pendant you can have for sixty four fifty. You can have the matching earrings for ninety nine fifty, and they're six zero seven eight four six. Check with the operator. Spectacular. Look. Okay. All right. Let's have a little look at the first one. Now, diamonds, of course, come in all sorts of different colours, but the different coloured diamonds appear to be quite expensive, as we've discovered recently. Mm -hmm. Pink diamonds 
we were saying are approximately between five three times. and five mm. times more than the white diamonds. But we've also got in this hour the, a great example of the canary yellow in the diamonds as well. And you were looking at some, um, some gorgeous jewellery, weren't you, that was in the canary yellow? Ah, yes, we do actually have lots of pictures to show you this evening. So many, in fact, from um, very, very uh, reputable magazines, but a pricey magazines, Vogue. Uh, also, there's pictures from... I can't hear a thing now. That's okay. A very large jewellery magazine, but I will show you with the but appropriate... look at that, though. Look at that. Um, this is item. what our customers receive, Mel. Isn't this, I will give you the item number because we can't pop it up on the screen at the moment for you. It's 607623. It's $489 or 511 and it's on four-part payments and you have a purchase with purchase option with that particular one that, in that you can get the jewellery cleaner for 1950. So, the central stone there. Oh, first of all, the metal. Let's talk about the, the metal. Being sterling silver, mm. it is rhodium plated. Okay. So therefore, tarnish-wise, it's not going to tarnish as much. You're, you're going to get a lot more sparkle with it and sheen and protective quality on your silver. It'll retain its luster, basically, won't it? Yeah, very nicely, which, of course, you want the metal to do, is particularly when you're looking at stones that are going to retain their sparkle forever and ever, and that's what the diamond stones are going to do. Very good mm. point. Now, the, the stone colour that we've got at the bottom there is the canary yellow. It has the equivalent diamond weight of 5.8 carats. It's a really big look just on that pendant section hanging from the gorgeous necklace. You can see the absolute clarity of the diamond earth stones, even more so perhaps with that stone in the centre, perhaps because it's a fancy cut. Is it a yes. scissor? Yes, yes. It's not really a scissor to me. It's I'm just not a fancy seeing... square cut. Because mm. mm. I, I can't really see that singular cross throughout the centre, I just see loads of facets going kind can of which way. you see on the other shot there how the light is just the start, look at that, can you see the stars at the top? You can see that beautifully, the there. a bit of green and yellow is coming yes. through. Yes, and also within the whole necklace, look at the stars coming off there, alternating stones. Stunning. Now I do have actually a little picky Alternating show. stones, Mel, that was a lead. Oh sorry, alternating. We have of course with the emerald cut and <laughs> the brilliant cut that I missed out on picking up, didn't I? Thank you. Just thought we'd point that, those out. Yeah, no, we should point that out, of course. <laughs> now, what have you got in your hand there? Here we go. A now, what magazine is this from, Kelly? Town and Country, which is a US issue magazine, and it's from the most recent, so we've got a colour photocopy for you, of an example of the real thing. From Natalie Kay. And Town and Country is a very, very uppity kind oh, of yes. magazine, isn't uppity. it? <laughs> Town and Country, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes it's, it's shushy. Shushy. Yes, darling, it is. So what are we looking at for these, then? We're looking at the yellow diamonds, complete with the fine white diamonds, mm. of course. We don't, yeah, no, we don't have a price. The, the, of course, these, these um, companies are all the way in the States. But listen, I mean, being as such a really, really uppity magazine, I'd say they're just so where are these, ridiculously priced. Let's have a look priced. at the bottom there, where, where are these jewellery shops are based? There's lots of stockists there. Oh, we've got Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma. Where the, uh, Texas. Texas. Uh, Texas, Beaumont, Texas. We've got San Antonio, Texas. Jackson, Tennessee. Oh. Fort Myers, Florida. St. Martin in... Oh, Caribbean where's gems. D, where's DWI? I don't know. What's DWI? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Not sure. Interesting. Anyway, let's pop this one. We don't need to go there, wherever that may be, because you can shop right here. But that's just an example of, the, I mean, the finest jewellers yeah. are making pieces that are very, very Same large kind. and very colourful. So yes. don't, be scared to, don't be scared to wear those, that similar look. Ooh, and certainly don't be scared swinging. to pick them up at bargain prices like you will find tonight. Exactly, Mel. You even get a little... Have a good look at it when you get it home because there's, there's such subtle detail that like there are a couple of little stones right in the end of the clasp and so on. Wow. I feel a little bit too special. Takes your mm. breath away, doesn't it? It does. Oh. Oh, gosh, there's going to be many pieces like this this evening. Most of them, if not, I think all of them are new to me, so I fell in love with just about every one of them. So make sure, as I said, choose carefully. But although, don't forget the 30-day money-back guarantee, but get in quick because they are dazzling, really stand-out pieces, and they are going to be worn to really, really fancy occasions. So put these ones away. Let me give you the item number. Occasions. Sorry about not no graphics on the screen there. Got a few little problems there. It's 607623 is the item number. The diamond esque canary yellow square cut necklace. And it's 489 or 511. And it's on um, four part pebs. And there's a PWP option with that one. And um, the information on that PWP, otherwise known as the purchase we purchased, is. Uh... Oh. 
That's nice. A bit cut off. Hang on. Left a bit. Left a bit. Oh, keep going, keep going. Double six zero eight is the item number for the TDSN liquid jewellery cleaner. If you purchase that necklace, you can get this at a reduced price of nineteen fifty or twenty and fifty for New Zealand. That's pretty good. Oh, it's all going terribly well this evening, isn't it? Never ends but pause. Let's have a look at some earrings now, shall we? Same colour, same colour with the bright white of the the white diamond as well. Look at the pair cuts there. Yes, these are very Catherine Zeta. Do you know what I mean when I say that? They're very Catherine, might would be... Um, oh, yes. is she that kind of... Is she really? Oh, she would love these. Oh, they, but they are yeah. really an elegant... Bigger style earring, though, but retaining that elegance. And I think that's important once you get into well, those larger stones. you've got three carrots per earring. Three carrots In the pear there. cut. In the mean. pear cut. Mm -hmm. Actually, the pear cut was a favourite cut of, um, I believe, of, say, Princess Margaret or some of the other previous... Royals that have been princesses have loved the the pear cut because it is deemed to be a very elegant cut like you say Mal, I think even the Queen has them now these are in silver, but you've got your little backing on Yes, there. which is a the little bit of a rubber backing so which means they're much more comfortable of course to a wear against backing. the Yeah, that's what they call I suppose yeah, a little wear against the, load. the uh, item number is Six zero seven six two nine. The price one hundred and twenty nine dollars or one thirty five in NZ. Don't um, forget, you do have the interest free part payments on those. I'm going to pull up the hair because these earrings really deserve the hair to be up in a really beautiful do. Check it out with the necklace. Stunning, really exquisite. I'm feeling particularly special now. I bet you are. They look so glamorous, don't they? As well as that large pear-shaped piece at three carats, you've also got, of course, all of the other white diamond pieces in that little trio arrangement. But the pear is a dangling pear, so it's got the movement off the jump ring there. Very glamorous for you. I think quite Elizabeth Taylor, too. I would say so as well, yeah, because it's particularly because of that larger stone. And she did like the coloured stones. She Elizabeth did, Taylor, didn't, didn't she? she? 607629, the item number for those matching canary yellow and diamond S drop earrings. Two payments of 6450 or 6750 in New Zealand. Don't forget, 30-day money-back guarantee. Take advantage of that. Let's look at the details of the necklace as well that uh, we began the hour with, 607623. It is approaching limited stock now. It is rhodium plated sterling silver at 489 or 511 or four part payments there of 12225 or 12775 for that one. In the box, the first of the rings, uh, you had one I think, didn't you Mel? Do you yes. know I have one here there. somewhere? Have a little look at that one there. I mean, I really do wish we knew oh, what, the, yes. what the cost was of these yes. rings. But this is, this is what the fine jewellers are making in their natural diamonds. Maybe have a little browse around the internet and uh, see what they're up to. But let's have a little, little look inside our box, shall we? There's and the uh, website. We've got Should we? Well, probably not. Was it there? Oh, natalieke.com or something. Anyway. Natalieke.com. Nat oh, Natalie K, mm. was it? Natalieke. <laughs> Natalie, that's all right. <laughs> You're asleep. Okay, so it's natalieK.com. Mm -hmm. But look there. I bet she's not selling anything at oh, 139. I actually like the style of this ring much better. It is nicer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, much nicer. Look at the clarity on that stone. Just like you have in the pendant on the necklace. 607630, the item number for the ring. Can you believe? the look that is achieved in sterling silver. Now, you would never, ever see, even in our other jewellery shows, Mark, you would not see such a grand setting in sterling silver no, ever anywhere other than diamond esque would you? Not at all. This sterling silver, though, has been rhodium highlighted as well. This is Hollywood glamour, though, sterling silver with that centre scissor cut canary yellow stone. 10 by 8 millimetres, and that's a 4.25 carat size stone that you've got there. <laughs> Surrounded by the small ones, we've got, they're all two millimetres each in diameter, in a collar there, 18 of them, which weigh 54 points. Wow, so they're large. And also, we have more, but there's more. Are they uh, emerald cuts? They are they emerald like cuts. They yeah, are. they look like yeah. them, don't they? It says baguettes on well, that card, okay. but anyway. We're well, so used to seeing the tapering baguette. I yeah, think that's the, that's they're all the very deal. similar anyway, aren't mm. they? That's the idea. But they graduate in size. Three of those on a stepped arrangement down to the shoulders there. J M O Q S and U for unbelievable, unbelievable. Six zero seven six three zero the number for this one. In fact, it says on the screen there, canary yellow baguette accent ring. Oh, it does it? indeed. Mm. So therefore, they must be <laughs> baguettes. baguettes. Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, sometimes what's on the screen is actually wrong. We, this is, we've picked up many mistakes. We have. We have. But it's good to check, isn't it? It is good. It is good very to check. good to check. Now um, I'm going to match the whole set in. We've completed the canary yellow, haven't we? Now we have. Yeah. We that's have? a little trio for you. Yep. yep. 
the yep, military. Feel sure. free to get one, two, or three. Um, make sure if you're just going to get one or two that you jot down the item number for the one that you miss out on because you will want to. Uh, really, ladies, you will. You will want to actually get the whole set. Limited now in O for opulent and Q for queen, which I think are two quite fitting word. You're looking at 757. Part paymented, of course, for all three pieces, being the necklace, the earrings, and that wonderful ring that is the full stop of the It's so dramatic setting. and so incredibly well made, I must say. The finishing is, is beautiful. The, the necklace was made in the States, by the way. In fact, it all is. The, all three of these pieces have been made in the US of A. We know with our diamond esque that comes from the States, it is of the highest quality. Yeah. And you love the finishing within there, the mm. quality of the cuts, the quality of the settings. So 607-630 is the canary yellow baguette accent ring in sterling silver at 139 or 145.50. Two part payments there of 69.50 or 72.75. And let's remind you of the necklace. It has gone into limited stock now. The item number for that is 607-623. Now, you can see this, the limited stock sign is flashing. Please be on the phone for this, otherwise you'll miss out. Four payments of 122 and 25. Did we do the earrings? No, we haven't, actually. Let's pop those we'll in, do those. We? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Okay. 607-629 for the earrings there. 129 or 135 or two-part payments. Now, Kelly just had a quick look at the website then. She's, she's on and the she job, says, isn't she? And she says, NatalieK.com. Surprise, surprise. There are no prices. No prices. It says, the perfect diamond by Natalie K. Discover it. Come, come to NatalieK.com to find out more about the perfect diamond. Well, there's still no prices. Hmm. Don't think we'll be going there. Then, will we? <laughs> no, we well, we can't. One, How are we going to do that? One of her retailers <laughs> in, in Texas or yes. Oklahoma. Duncan's Diamonds. <laughs> Florida. Sounds like Duncan oh, Diamonds. That's her name of a really. Duncan's Diamonds. Duncan's Diamonds. It is too. Duncan's Diamonds. As in not Duncan the name. Yes. As in Duncan Donuts. And he's well, that's Florida though, isn't it? Fort Myers in Florida. He's at two three nine two seven seven one zero one one. If you want to give him a call. Oh, gee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at the next one. Fifty dollars off this one, and this one's in solid fourteen karat gold. I might add, down from two forty nine mm. to one ninety nine or two hundred and eight, but only L and P. Mm, this is quite beautiful. The item number for it is six zero five four six five. You're getting such a gorgeous stone look all the way across the hand, of course, because that setting stretches as far as the eye can see, especially from the front view. Two forty nine, the old price down to one ninety nine. Don't <coughs> forget, they have three part payments here. L and P are those two sizes. I love the oval cut on this one. I do as well. Doesn't what, it work it's, really it's well? It's not any different to any other oval cut. But I know. It's, it's the positioning the of it. It just barely goes past the um, dimensions of the band just exactly barely. it's been beautifully cut this one 3.31 carats is the perfect size for it and then stepping down there you've got the uh, the baguette stones in three oh is it four of them one two three four of them aren't there down there mel there are four yes thank you yes need to confirm hey would you and you can't wear your glasses no. can you? so lots going on in this particular one and a very high oval cut in the center there all set into solid 14 karat gold this time. So we've got the sterling silver in the show. We've got some gold plated sterling mm. silver later in the hour for you, which keeps the cost down. But this is solid 14 karat gold. Let's pop it on 605 for Solid 14 karat gold for 199 because it's on special. So it's not too much more than our silver pieces that you just saw. Not really. Not really. Not really. But um, L, L just gone limited in that one. It's got a lot of height to it, which is why I like that one. Yeah, it does have a real lot of height. Now, big presents. As you can see, all of these pieces really have big presents. If you wanted to wear that on its own, you could easily do that. But I think the bracelet that we did preview is appropriate enough to wear with it because much smaller stones in the bracelet, so you're not really... I'm not too dripping in it, am Listen I? Listen to you. Do you this think? is appropriate. Oh, I can wear this with that. Look at the size on it. Yeah. Imagine walking through Beverly Hills dressed like oh, that. Oh, I know. You'd think you'd be Oh, you'd be mugged, wouldn't you? Well, I think so. Probably. <laughs> But wouldn't you feel a million dollars? You wouldn't uh, just feel like a movie star. No, you do. You do tend to, I mean, the Diamond Air Stones do do that to you. I mean, mm. regardless of the setting, there's something about having a really large, it never noticeable fails. rock on your head. Diamond Air never fails, does no, it? No, never. Never it fails never. It's, I think it's, it's got to have passed every test of oh. every one of our customers. And it never fails to, to please. Oh, Either beautiful. the person looking at it or the person wearing it. That's true. Never fails. It, it is just a sparkly mm. big number. I'm going to say not a little number. This is down from 249 to 199 with three.
part payments for that one. L has now gone mm. into limited stock. Few more of P. 605465 is the item number. And to be honest, we have not seen this one since early December last year. A few people, I think, have been waiting for this one to come mm. back. Another one, actually, another oval one coming up later that we haven't seen since November last year. So we'll look forward to that shortly. That's a big one, too. Let's do a quick reminder of the bracelet if you've just tuned in. 68204, the item number. It's probably the more petite of the bracelets that we have, but it is the one that's set into 14 karat gold, isn't mm, it? Is that that's correct? True. Yeah. yeah. Quarter stock now on that has gone. Take advantage of the part payment, particularly if there's a group of you purchasing a g really gorgeous gift for a special person. Maybe you can take a part payment each. And also, you can have that purchase with purchase jewelry cleaner at a Bargain price of nineteen fifty double six zero eight. The item number for that. Now there's some black parve coming up. Black <gasps> diamonds are beautiful. They work so very well with the white diamonds, of course, for, for a great contrast. Have a little oh, look at this one. This is this is one of the more subtle pieces of diamond esque, and a little flower ring. Let's pop it out the box for you straight away. Six zero double seven eight seven is the item number. Black diamonds or black diamond-esque stones simulated with white diamond-esque simulated yes, stones. Yes, in the centre. It's hard not to say the real thing when they look like that. <laughs> they do, you do feel as though it's exactly the real thing. Yeah, particularly with this one, like you said, it is one of the more petite designs, so a little, um, perhaps more on the believable antique side. It really looks like kind of an antique ring, don't you it think? It really this does. One? I do think mm, it absolutely. There's nothing that looks really new about it. No. Which I think is very um, nostalgic and romantic. That central stone is about half a carat too, so, uh, you know, quite a believable size, isn't it? The, the actual design work, this, this shape, is very um, oldie wildy Yeah, very Victorian in style. And they're calling it a flower ring. It's almost a combination of a flower, butterfly and a bow yeah. design all into one. So all together, it's yes. really, really feminine I'm and petite, that. isn't it? Yeah. So I was trying to work out what the heck it was. What the heck? <laughs> what have you got here? Have you got some black diamonds That's there? That's an example, yeah. If you could hold that up while I... I'll bring Why is it being photographed next to tomatoes? Who, who knows, actually? There's a bit of a vegetable theme happening here. Oh, some asparagus. Oh, tomatoes are fruit, though, aren't they? Asparagus there. Hmm. Anyway, but that's... Here we have... Yes. There. That's the black diamond. Of course, that's a completely different design, but featured... Wow. in this wonderful magazine, which is a jewellery collector's magazine, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's our, it's our jewellery magazine, which was issue number two. I don't know where we found it. Wed it's WeddingMagazine.com. I think our here. black stones are actually much better. I mean, it could be the photography. Who knows? <laughs> I'll show us those. There's, These there's look now. a little bit more steely. I don't know. I oh, quite yeah, like do. the very, very stark mm. black of our stones. Could be the lighting, but um, really hey. different. Available, though, in Diamond-esque at 199 or 208. I, J, K and M are the size options there. That could even be a little pinky ring for you. I was thinking the same thing because yep. the size is perfect for that. Much more of a petite style design there. 607787, the item number, that um, can come to you for just two payments of 19950 or two by 104 in New Zealand. Try out these designs, don't be scared to, because the 30-day money-back guarantee guarantees that you can do that. Exactly, it mm. does. You buy it and try it, try it out at home and see what you think on your finger. Wear it to a fancy party. Do, yes, and have a little look at it in the sunlight too. Now, if you're looking for something a little simpler in its design and you've been admiring those solid tears in the shop windows well you don't need to admire for too much longer because you can have one in diamond-esque for a fraction mm. of the cost how about an all-time favorite isn't it yeah it really is an all-time favorite six zero seven six double four this is one of many solitaires that we have from our diamond-esque collection this one is a cross i think between a little bit of the traditional and the modern there's only four claws in this one yeah that's true but the band i think or the shoulders of the ring are a little bit more modern in their design just Chicken. because they're, they're slightly, slightly mm. domed, aren't they? Yeah, they are very slightly domed indeed. 175 or 183 is the total price. Break that up and it's a whole lot easier going the part payment way. J, L, P and R. It also doesn't stand too high. You know, some of the solitaires are very high in their setting. This is not too high either. It is quite a sizable stone though, I might add, at 1.9 carats of equivalent diamond weight. So it's still a good size, isn't it? Nearly two carats there. It is quite a good size, this one. The gallery is, is the modern, uh, very modern part of it, I think, now that you've turned it up.
Mm. It's not really a V collet or um, a basket setting, which you often see with the solitaire stones. Now, see, I was discussing this with a friend of mine the other day, yes. who was um, hoping to uh, to get married within the next couple of years. If her, um, you know, Has she got a partner. Well, she does. Yes, yes. But she's just waiting for him to go down on one knee. Ah. But anyway, she knows exactly what she'd like in terms of a ring. Um, <laughs> but she's thinking, well, you know, in terms oh, of I'm going to put on the ring finger. Finance, they can only really afford to get like a three-quarter or a couch. And I said, what about a two-couch? She said, oh, we can't afford it. I said, but if you could, would you like one? I said, of course, because yeah. she's quite a big girl and she'd like a two-carat rock on her finger. Yeah, it looks better. It that just... Be, <laughs> yes, I know. It, it just it looks does. better. And I, I can't, I, can't oh, I don't know, I just can't. I told you the story of, of how I, I saw my sister's engagement ring. When yes, I, when and, I was and, up. and the thing's disappointing. And I, I didn't. I forgot that they'd gotten engaged over Christmas because you'd mm. think you'd notice people's engagement rings, wouldn't you? You'd think she so. hadn't pointed out to me. And it was lovely, <laughs> but I mean, it was in the genuine thing, so I'm not saying, it, you know, they can't afford to spend too much. No, but, of course. But, but after knows. seeing what no. she can get for, you know, in terms of size and stone in Diamond Esque, set into 14 karat gold, a piece mm. like this mm. uh, for $175. And to be honest, our diamond S devotees are always asked, are always, aren't they? Are People always admire their jewelry. Always admire from, yes. from genuine jewelers when they walk into jewelry stores to check out Indeed. other pieces, to just their friends, absolutely everybody. You cannot tell the difference. I know. Can you at so, all? So put it to something else. Honestly, it's, it's wiser. Really. Have a nice honeymoon. It's you just know. a material thing. Renovate really. the house, <laughs> isn't it? Have kids, yeah. whatever. Mm. Two quick reminders. Let's have mm. a look. The wedding bands <laughs> that could go with it. Actually, these are the plain gold bands. I think yes. In white gold at one thirty nine six zero five four nine five. That's just a white gold piece of polished fourteen karat gold in K through to X, and then the yellow gold one. Which would sit nicely next to that Melbourne. Yes, it would. 604596, the item number for that one. Getting a couple of those is always a good idea. 139 and 145 and 50 cents, and we have loads of sizes in that good. one. Good. Excellent. Shall we move on to a piece now that hasn't been seen since November, actually, last year? It's good to see uh, back on the show again. Also featuring the Oval Cut Stone. Oval Cut is very popular tonight, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This time down the finger line, though, and also saving a bit of money. Yeah, you are saving $50 with this one this evening. 606-550, the item number, as you gaze into those facets. Down from 219 to 169 and 176 and 50 in New Zealand. Look at those part payments, though, into the 50s. So much ah. easier. Spread over three months yes. into the $50 mark. L, N, P, R and T are the sizes. Now, this is really, really traditional, isn't it? Well, you've got your little um, trefoil, trefoil. Arrange mm. arrangement there. Little three stones together. They're all the same size, actually. They're um, equal about 60 points when they we add those up together. The central stone at nine by seven millimeters has an equivalent diamond weight of 1.75 carats. So that's quite a nice size there, isn't it? All set into 14 carat yellow gold. It is again quite set quite snugly to the finger line and quite a deep stone within that setting with double claws. Can you see that little double claws? Yeah. Thing? up and over, keeping it very, very secure. Well, it's a large stone, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you need double claws. You do, and I think it ties in the set, the three, actually, at the side. Did you find it in there? No, I did not, actually. You've got, you got earrings, okay. though. Yes, no, I'm going to show them on another piece. No, because they'll go with this piece, because of the shoulders. Mm, no, look. I'm going to show this page on another but look, piece. Mm, uh. They would, wouldn't they? <laughs> No, <laughs> it's not time for that. Oh, not time. I'm sorry. I don't want to disrupt the, the magazine showing. Oh wow! <laughs> it just is exquisite. It looks nothing like it looks on the TV screen. I always say it, but it's always true. true. Yeah. When you look at it to the, to the naked eye, it looks five to ten times better than it does on your TV screen. And it's looking pretty dazzling on the TV, isn't it? L and P, R and T are the sizes for this one. $50 saving if you get it this evening. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Gorgeous look, that one. So don't miss out. Not been seen since November last year. It is 606-550, the oval and brilliant cut ring. Down from 219 to 169 or 176.50. It is on three-part payments of 56.33 or 58.83. Now's a great time to give us a call for that one. Also from preview, the pendant. Coming up soon. Oh, yeah. The very the sixty dollar pendant or whatever. Yeah, sixty four fifty. I think. Yeah, the that's right. Ocean. Where is it? 
there yeah. it is. It's set into sterling silver, but I tell you what, guys, it had me fooled. I didn't even notice that at all because of the tremendous stone setting. 6450 or 6750 in NZ. 607-847. Make sure you get to the phones during this break because we'll be back with so much more, won't we? We will. Shopping with TVSN is easy. Register as a customer when you make your first purchase or at any time by contacting customer service. When you register, you'll receive a customer kit. There's no obligation, no cost, and it's completely confidential. Purchasing the product you want is easy. You can use TVSN Easy Order. Just follow the prompts or you can speak directly to one of our customer service representatives. Information on every product is displayed on the screen. This includes a unique item number that you use when you place your order. On screen is the product description and several areas showing original, special and current price. The phone number you need to call when placing your order is at the bottom of the screen, giving you the Australian and New Zealand numbers and our website address. When your order is confirmed, your purchase is carefully packed and sent on its way to you, or to somebody else if that's what you'd like. All TVSN products are covered by our 30-day money-back guarantee and customer service is on hand to help you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The shopping is better at TVSN. Diamond is for evening glamour. Oh, yes, lots of glamour coming up. Now, one of our producers here, Ali, um, apparently bought the Lucky Horseshoe in white gold. I think, yeah, it was her sister that bought Kelly. it. Kelly. Yeah, Kel. Mm. And um, just on that note, cause we're saying that it is loads more beautiful to the naked eye than it is on TV. And Kelly, our producer, saw Kelly wearing it. Yes. And uh, she just went, oh my God, because Kelly's always seeing the shows and seeing all these fabulous pieces. That's... She said it was a hundred times better in real life on the real person. The thing is, because Kelly's in the control room, um, she's always seeing it on the television all the time. Yeah, all never, the time. Not too much in the flesh. Like us, we when we um, select shoppers. Yes. When they, have you, we, did you meet a few? When no, they, we're meeting we, some tomorrow. Away? There will be more here tomorrow. tomorrow. Make sure you have a look at their jewellery because it was the first time I saw... Better. It looks better. The first time I actually saw it on live, people worn in as they would like to <laughs> wear it with their other Our pieces. Customers. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And it just looked tremendous. So much better. Really did. I agree mm. with you. All right. Mm. Let's open the box. This is big. It is. It's a big one. Oh, it's a gorgeous piece, this one. 